Hi YouTube. Welcome back. So as y'all can see, this is a video of me and me only. So this video, I'm just gonna kind of recap the first trimester. I'm officially in my second trimester. So we'll see how it goes. Um, so, so far, I just wanted to start off with showing y'all an ultrasound picture. I'll put it up there of the baby so far. Little cute thing. So this week, I am 17 weeks. And so next week will be 18. And I got my anatomy scan coming up. But otherwise, it's been going rough so far. <laughs> Not even gonna lie, um, it has been a challenge with this first pregnancy. Um, I know everybody's story is different. Everybody, every pregnancy is different. But it has definitely been a little rough. Um, so to start off, these are the prenatals that I'm taking. It is one a day, I believe it's called. Hopefully y'all can see it. But it's one of day gummies, as y'all can see as well. It's kind of towards the end here, so I have to get some more. Um, but I started off taking the prenatal pills with the iron in them. Did not work. I would throw up the whole pill. Like, it just was not for me. So, I ended up having to switch to the gummies. The gummies that I take, like I said, this is one of day women's uh, prenatal. And so it doesn't have iron in it, but it does still have the folic acid and DHA in which my iron levels have been good. So that's why I'm not too worried about it not having iron and neither is my um, OB doctor. So that's the prenatals that I take. Like I said, before I even started taking the gummies, I did try other prenatals. Like I was trying different brands. This was the first gummies that I got, and I like the taste. Um, but I did try some other gummies. The taste was not good. Um, I tried different pills, like with the iron in them. They just still was not good. So that's why I eventually just found the one that I like and that I can actually take and stick with. And I only have to take two a day, so not bad. And I usually will take them in the morning sometime or anytime that I remember, I just kind of take them. But I try to make sure I take them every day. Um, that was a challenge for me as well because I'm not used to taking pills every day. And then having to switch it up and take a pill every day or take these gummies every day. But it's easier to remember with breakfast. Now, as far as the pregnancy so far, <laughs> like I said, it's been rough. So first of all, y'all can kind of see... From here, I done switched up my wedding band to the silicone ring. So the ones that's kind of stretchy like this. I got this off of Amazon. Um, not much at all. But I did have to switch my rings. My fingers kind of got a little fat already. <laughs> so I did have to take off my wedding ring and switch up to the silicone band. Which wasn't a problem for me. Um, but I did notice it start getting tighter and tighter. So that's why I had to switch it up. Also, the reason why I say it's been rough. Oh my goodness, so my thinking, I'm like, all right, once I hit these 12 weeks, the, the nausea, the vomiting gonna go down, I'm not gonna have to worry about that too much, like, it's gonna ease up. Y'all, I'm 17 weeks and the nausea and vomiting is still there. Like, <laughs> I can literally be in class relaxing and I'll be like, y'all just give me a second, I'm gonna go to the bathroom and I just throw up. I throw up first thing in the morning. I throw up most of the time, you know, lunch, dinner, if I eat too fast, if I eat too much. Just, it's just always something. Like, and so I'm never really full, but I'm never really hungry either because after I throw up, I'm really hungry, but then I'm like, okay, let me slow down. Let me not eat too fast. Let me, and so I, then I end up not eating enough. So then I'm hungry again, like a few hours later. It's just always something, okay? Like, I'm just, I'm always throwing up. It's so bad now, y'all. Tajay, if we all eating dinner, Tajay will be like, Daria, make sure you don't eat too fast. Or, Daria, I think I need to take your plate. Like, y'all, one time she literally, I'm eating, and she took my plate. She was like, Daria, you eating too fast. You're going to throw up. Girl, if you don't give me back my plate, I'm going I'm to nibble on your fingers, okay? <laughs> like, I'm hungry. Let me eat. So, between her and her daddy... They on my last nerves, y'all. Oh my goodness. So, it has been a journey. And now, like, these past, I want to say, like, two, two and a half weeks, I have started having heartburn. So, I went and got some Zantac. That has been helping a little bit. 
Um, but the heartburn will literally wake me up in the middle of the night, <laughs> like just in the middle of the night, like, oh my goodness. I mean, I've tried sleeping up a little bit more propped up and it just, I find that I like to sleep on my left side a lot more than my right side, but it's just, and of course, I can't sleep on my stomach. I still try to sleep on my stomach because that's the way I'm most comfortable, but that's just not even a choice no more. Like, it's, it, it, it's not even that it hurts, but it's literally just uncomfortable when I sleep on my stomach. Um, so, it's, it's been a journey. I will say that it's been a journey so far, but honestly, I have gotten so much love and support. Um, so, we announced it on the YouTube, obviously, and so we didn't send out like a mass text or anything when we told everybody. Um, we just put it on the YouTube and we did tell our parents and close family and friends. Not Honestly, we know we didn't even tell friends. We just put it on the YouTube. Like we told my grandma, my dad, uh, my aunts, uncles, and then Todd told his, his parents and that was about it. Like otherwise, unless you saw me then you really ain't know until it was on YouTube. Now, recently, if you have Todd as a friend on Facebook, you saw this ugly picture he uploaded of me. And so I'm at the point now where I am actually showing. And so if you follow him on Facebook, then you found out that way as well. But otherwise, we haven't really been posting about it. We've just been kind of like, You'll see it on the YouTube or, you know, if you see me in person, then obviously you'll know because it's, it is definitely, my stomach is definitely not flat anymore. Um, but other than that, like I said, I've been getting a lot of love and support. Um, we are planning on doing a gender reveal, so y'all have to stay tuned for the video of the gender reveal to find out the gender. I haven't even had the appointment yet for the gender, but it is coming up in, I think, two weeks. So... It's coming up pretty fast. Of course, Todd wants a boy. Um, honestly, I don't have a preference just yet. Um, I am, I will say I'm leaning towards the girl, but I don't have a preference. Like, I just want a healthy baby. Um, we have been getting, like I said, so much support from family, from friends. My dad calls me all the time. My grandma Gwen calls me all the time. Um, I love texting Monty Nikki. She is just so inspiring and just, she always is there. Like, you know, just checking up on me. So I love him. I love him, love him, love him. Um, and then also as far as like Todd, he's been amazing. Like I know I'm a handful without even being pregnant. Like <laughs> that is the nature of me. But during this pregnancy, Todd has been so wonderful. Um, he, whenever I'm um, like, Craving something, he'll try and cook it. Like, if he don't cook it that night, he'll cook it the next day. Even if it's not something that I'm craving. Honestly, I haven't had many cravings. Um, I do like pickles. Like, if I get a sandwich, I want extra pickles. But other than that, no real cravings. Um, I can't eat public subs every day if that's an option. Public subs and Wendy's chili. I can eat those every day if you let me. But other than that, I haven't really been having cravings. Um... When I eat, I know what I want to eat. So, like I said, for the most part, Todd, he keep everything in the refrigerator that he know for sure I'll eat. Um, if it's something that's not in the refrigerator that he can cook, he'll go out and get it. So, I love that part. Um, like I said, most time when we get ready to go to sleep, he just rubs my stomach. And when I'm getting off from work, he'll have the bath water running. He bought me. I love taking sit-down baths. And I will literally... <laughs> Stay in the tub forever. And he brought me um, this full body bath pillow that's really nice. And so when I get up from work, he'll have like a bath ran for me. So it's been going good. And Tajay is just overwhelmed with the fact that she is going to be a big sister. She's going to have somebody to boss around finally besides her cousins. So she is over the top. Every day she has to see my stomach. She has to touch my stomach. She want to lift it up. She want to lay on it. She want to show people. She just, she over the top with being a big sister. Like, she just, oh my goodness. So, at first, she wanted a baby sister. Now, she's saying she want a baby brother. So, I I think she's going to be happy with either one. But I haven't, I don't really know which one she want yet. She, she says something different every time you ask her. Um, but, yes, yeah, she is excited. She is just 
you know, like I said, telling everybody, go to the school. Y'all, my stepmommy is going to have a baby. Like, she just, she always is just saying something about the baby. Always touching my stomach. Always showing people. And she's just something else. But we are excited as a family for this new chapter. Um, still couponing. Still getting my diapers. You know, that ain't, that ain't going to change, okay? Um, but definitely, I plan on creating a registry soon. Um, just like the general stuff on there. And then after the gender reveal, of course, just put in more things on there that's, you know, gender oriented. Um, other than that, it's been going good. Uh, still in school, finish up in another like 62 days. So it's getting there. Um, but pregnancy in school has been going good. It has been a challenge with trying to stay up mostly in study. Um, because I do get exhausted a lot. It's like an alarm in my head or in my body that by like 9.30, I'm ready to shut everything off. Like, I can be up talking to you and 10 minutes later, I'm exhausted. Eyes red. You put me in a corner somewhere and I'm gone to sleep. Like, so that has been the biggest challenge. Um, staying focused in class is not really a problem. Um, like I said, that my classmates are excited as well. It's just, it's been going good. It has honestly been a really good journey so far. Um, I am looking forward to the days where I am not throwing up anymore, you know, but I'm definitely not counting on it. <laughs> um, I just, I'm not counting on it no more. It just, it's, that has, my dreams have been shattered with that. But it's okay, you know, it's all part of, you know, making sure the baby is healthy. Um, and like I said, everything so far has been going good with the pregnancy. Um, still have appointments every three weeks, uh, but it is coming up to the point where I will have appointments every two weeks. So that will get challenging as far as just having to go to the doctor, um, blood draws, whatever. But other than that, the appointments have been easy going as well. My labs have been good. So, and then um, as far as like diet and having to switch that up. So not many things really have been nauseous to me. Um, I will say I don't crave fish. I don't want fish. Um, the other day Todd said something about cooking fish and you would have thought he told me I was ugly or something. Like the way my face too. I'm like, Todd, we not eating no fish in this house. Like, no, we not doing that. I don't know, like, cause I, cause I can usually eat fish. I like salmon, I like fish and grits. But I am not, I don't want the fish smell. I don't want to be around fish right now. Like, I just, I don't know. It's something about it that's not really appealing to me right now. Um, as far as diet and exercise, honestly, most of the time, I only eat once a day or twice a day because I'm constantly throwing up. Um, excuse me, because I'm constantly, like, throwing up stuff. So, it's only certain things that I can really keep down but it's anything that you could think of that might help i've tried it um i tried the ginger tea I ginger ale I peppermints sucking on a lemon saltine cracker i've tried just about everything for <laughs> this sickness and it does not go away but hey like i said at this point i'm used to it i know when it's coming i know how to make my way to the bathroom and that's all that matters to me um, but other than that, I just want to thank you for staying on this journey with me. I know this is the first video. I said I was going to keep videos coming, but, um, yeah, that, that's not going to happen. Because I, I, it took forever for me just to make this recap video. So, uh, but yeah, like I said, in the next video y'all will see of me and of the baby and of Todd will be with our gender reveal. So we're going to have that, um, obviously after the appointment. And then from there, I will update y'all on going into my third trimester. And of course, with graduating from school and being pregnant and then studying because I do want to take my NCLEX before I have this baby. Um, I am due April 1st, 2020. I am done graduating with school February 24th. So my goal is to take the NCLEX before I have this baby. Um, that is just a goal that I'm striving towards and I will meet. So thank you for tuning in again and don't forget to like, subscribe and comment below and don't forget to hit the little bell button to keep up with notifications with us here at Authentically Us Chandlers. Bye.